Hi everybody, this is Bill Van Lue from Chrome Decay. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the stuff I've been playing with on the iPod Touch for the last week or so. This program is called Touch OSC, and it's a little interactive control surface for the iPod Touch and iPhone. It's available in the App Store, and there's more information on the info links for this video. Uh, Touch OSC is a lot of fun, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the techniques and things that I've been doing with it inside programs like Ableton Live. So check it out. Enjoy. So here's Touch OSC. When it loads up, it uh, asks you for some network configuration stuff, and I've already got that set up. So I'm just going to hit Done. And now you can see um, the Beat Machine layout that I've got selected. There are a number of other layouts in Touch OSC, but this is the one that I'm going to be using today. And in fact, it's the one that really prompted me to want to check out and ultimately buy Audio Damage's Big Seek plugin. Page one of the layout is pretty simple. A couple of faders and some drum pads, which you can kind of hear mapped out right now as well. Um, page two is what really got me interested in though. This is a whole set of little um, faders down on the bottom here and then a set of um, a set of little multi toggles as well. And it's your typical um, 16 step sequencing kind of setup. Um, page three is a set of rotary controls and page four is an XY pad and some toggle switches. So I'm going to switch into Ableton Live here and pull up the sequence as it exists. Now I'm going to turn, I've got Big Sequence turned off, Big Seek turned off for right now, so you can hear this project without Big Seek doing anything. So here it goes. So all you hear right now is this long sustained chord in this one MIDI channel. Now when I turn Big Seek on, at first you're not going to hear anything because what Big Seek is, is a sequenced gating and filtering plugin. So when I press play again, you're not going to hear anything from the synth channel right away um, because Big Seek doesn't have anything going through its gate. So I'll turn that on and then I'll show you what I mean. So I don't hear any sound passing through Big Seek right now, but when I start turning on the steps from this gated sequencer here, you start noticing them. Now I can adjust the attack and decay of those things, and that's a pretty nice sound right there. Now I can also send this into the filter built into Big Seek, and I can adjust the filter amount. And this, I think, is a something like a fixed percentage or a fixed amount above the center frequency uh, cutoff set up by the filter control. Now where this really gets fun is when I start using Touch OSC on the iPod Touch to control this stuff. So I'm going to switch back to page two of the Beat Machine layout, and I'm going to turn these things off completely so you really get a better sense of what Beat Machine is doing here. So I have the second from the bottom of these toggles mapped out to the VCA sequencer here, to the gated sequencer. Now what that allows me to do is use this toggle switch on Touch OSC on the iPod Touch to turn these things on and off. And at the MIDI sequencing, or in the MIDI mapping rather in Ableton Live, I have um, each of these multi, um, each of these toggles set up so that it controls not only the left but also the right. So every time I hit that, it turns the left and right on or off. And it's not showing it now because I'm in MIDI mapping mode. But if I hit this, you'll see that both the left and the right turn on and then turn off at the same time. These buttons in Touch OSC are quite small and they're rather difficult to hit sometimes. Um, so I mapped it out that way. Now obviously you could have, um, there are five rows in here. And so you could actually, or I'm sorry, there are actually six rows in here in Beat Machine, so you could actually um, map it out so that left and right were set up separately, but right now I've just got a map to the same thing. So I'm going to start the sequence playing again and play with that for a sec. So you get a sense of being able to turn those things on and off. Now the bottom row here, I've got mapped out to the filter sequencer here. And I've got these multi-sliders mapped out to the multi-sliders in Big Seek. So I can kind of drag my finger around there and adjust all of those in one swoop. And I'll turn the sequence back on and play with that for a sec. And pretty quickly you get a sense that that is doing quite a lot there. Now, I've also got the other pages of Beat Machine mapped out to different things um, in here as well, so that I can control um, other things. So for example, on page one, 
I've got this one main fader mapped out to control the overall um, frequency and cutoff point of the filter. And I've got this other fader mapped out to the resonance. I've got this toggle switch down here mapped out to toggle between the low pass filter and the band pass filter in Big C. So I can come back here and play with this a bit more if I want. Now I've also got these controls in Touch OSC mapped out so that um, I can control the attack and the decay of the VCA envelope in Big C. And I've got on the bottom here, I've got this mapped out to the effects send. And that's just going into a simple filter delay and able to live in the A return. And the same thing for the drums here as well. Now on the last page of Beat Machine in Touch OSC, I've got the XY pad mapped out to control the beat repeat, plug in and able to live, which is right here. This toggle switch turns beat repeat on or off, and so now it's on. And the XY I've got mapped out to the grid and the filter, or actually I guess just the uh, just the grid in the um, beat machine or in the uh, beat repeat. And I've got this toggle mapped to the repeat parameter. Now these toggles I've got set up to just turn pieces of the track on or off. So I've just turned the track volume off the, for the drums, and here I've turned just the synth off. possible without a number of pieces of software. First of all, of course, Touch OSC on the iPod Touch and iPhone, which again is available in the App Store. Um, in the background here has been a program called Osculator, um, which converts the OSC messages from Touch OSC into MIDI messages and events that then get passed into Ableton Live. So then here's Ableton Live, a fantastic piece of software that I do tons of music production um, and work in. And then of course, last um, is the Audio Damage Big Seek plugin, which was sort of the inspiration for this whole thing. Now, Audio Damage is also working on version two of Big Seek, and um, I, along with another, a lot of other people, are um, are eagerly awaiting that. So we'll see um, all the interesting things that uh, end up making it into Big Seek too. But for now, I'm having a ton of fun with this. So again, check out ChromeDecay.org for lots of music um, in the same vein as what you heard during this little demo and tutorial and enjoy. Take care.